Anytime any one of those auxiliary, anytime any one of those members of that auxiliary uh, uh, disavow the, the word of the pastor, but heal to the word of that auxiliary leader, they are out of order. That's a price of life. Anytime I tell one of the choir members, anytime I tell one of the brotherhood members, anybody else to do something and they look over to the head person of that auxiliary to get okay, they are out of order. Did you hear what I just said? Yes. Pastor say, uh, Deacon, I want you to move over here. And then you look at Reverend Walker because he's over. What you say, Reverend? Yeah, go in on. <laughs> what did he just do? Out of order. Out of order? Yeah. Out of order. Because he got a different follower. That's what the word of God. Some of them running around talking about, I'm of Apollos and I'm of Paul. I'm of, I'm all of, I'm of a Cephas. I'm of everybody else. There's only one, and that's Jesus. Sometimes, yes, sir. Like you're saying, for sometimes we won't stand up for what's right, like you're saying. Sometimes you look at Peter and Saul. Sometimes I look at that picture that that, that uh, uh, a quiet friend is worse than a loud enemy. All right, now. Boy, you know yeah. Saying? Yes. A quiet friend. Yes. They ain't gonna say nothing, nothing. in your defense. Yes. But the loud enemy, they gonna they gonna say everything. Everything. You know they say. In your opposition, we have a lot of quiet friends. Quiet, quiet friends. <laughs> <laughs> they won't say nothing. Say they are. You're right. Say to your friends, but won't say nothing. And that's what I. What I mean. We say that. He said the right term. We say the quiet friend, but in fact they're not. Yeah, yeah. They wouldn't what? what? And I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. We're guilty. All of us in here are guilty. Oh, what you talking about, preacher? Because you ain't gonna talk about my mama without me saying something to you. But you talk about Jesus, I might sit and listen a while. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Now, I don't know that hey, this Christ you're talking about now. I mean, you might want to believe him, but I mean, wh wh what makes you think he. And we sit there and listen. Yeah. But if I talk about your mama, say your mama, she wasn't all Hey, hey! Hey, I'm talking about my mama. Your mama wasn't all that. I mean, people thought she was something, but I don't know. Hey, hey! What, what we? What yes. we? What we defend, mama? Yes, we will. But we'll let people deep credit Jesus and don't. Say oh, come on now. And I not be that way. Well, I don't know about that, Jesus. Well, I'll tell you what, you don't have to, but I'm telling you, I'm not going to stand here and let you tell me something negative about my Savior. I can do that. So you I, you got the total right to believe or not believe, but I'm not going to let you pour that on me. Now, see, now, now, Sister Milton, now they don't like me. And I'm going to be conversation next. That's why we don't say that because I don't want the bully talking about me. Why? Which I don't care. But that's why we don't say that because we don't, we don't want them against you. Why? I'd rather, I I don't want the Lord to get the Bible yeah, says it's a dangerous, yeah. terrible yeah. thing yeah, to fall in the hands of a. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I don't want him yeah. against me. I'm not about nobody else. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Is that right? That's right. It's yeah. the truth anyway. Therefore, they're done with you. Therefore, what they're done with Jesus, uh, they they secretly pursued some people to testify that they heard Stephen blaspheming against Moses and God. This and, and this resulted in Stephen being dragged outside of the walls of Jerusalem. Why? Because it was against the Jewish law to stone anyone. Now, now you want to talk about some religion? <laughs> it's okay to talk about the pastor, but you can't do it in church. <laughs> you got to go outside the church talk about it. Come on, now help me understand that. It shouldn't be okay to talk about the pastor. No, 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 period. No, no. But it's okay to talk about him, but you can't talk about him in church, man. Go outside and step on the steps and talk about him. <laughs> talk about him. You can't you can't stone within the walls, but you can take them outside the wall and stone them to your tire. Religion, are we getting it? Yeah, Come on, yeah, religion. Yeah, sure no relationship. Yeah, yeah. Because if we had relationship, the stoning wouldn't happen. Uh -huh. I'm not going to let you hurt a person like that. The talking about the preacher, yeah. the talking about the church member wouldn't happen because that's not religion. That's not relationship with God. Because love worketh no, no ill. Yeah. No ill. But in this case, they say you can stone them, but you got to take them outside and stone them. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. We're gonna pick it up on page ten when we come back together. And I want you to go over it because this is this is some this is some powerful powerful stuff. Yeah. Here, here, let, me, let me get this top paragraph yeah. on, 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 on number, number ten. Listen to it. Listen to it. It says Saul Saul watches as they pick up stones and begin to throw them at Stephen's head. Saul watches the first stone hit Stephen. Then he watches as a second stone, 
a third. And then more come so fast and furious that they couldn't count them. Hitting stone, stone uh, Stephen's body. Stephen stands as long as he can. And finally the stones took their toe. And he falls to his knees. Mm -hmm. Then what does he pray? Acts 7 and 60. Correct with a loud voice, Lord, may not, not descend, descend to, to their, their charge. charge. Did anybody else say something like that? Jesus. What did he say? Forgive them, them not, not what they don't know what they do. Yeah. Isn't that right? Yeah. Yeah. Stephen cried out almost the same with a loud voice, didn't he? Yeah. And he still had compassion yeah. upon the ones that were stoned in the tent. And, and Saul sat there and watched him bust yeah. him in the head and yeah. did nothing. We sit and watch people bust that preacher in the head with them bad words and do nothing. Mm -hmm. We sit and watch him bust them church members in the head with them bad words and we do nothing. Mm -hmm. We do nothing. Mm -hmm. And then we want to act like we ain't part of it. Mm -hmm. I didn't say nothing no real. I, I heard, but I didn't say nothing no real. That's going to say I'm ashamed of that. I at least would have thought you would have defended me. Mm -hmm. did, did you see on the news for the the guy spent 26 years in prison for something that he didn't do and he finally got out. Mm -hmm. Black guy. Uh -huh. Did anybody see that on the news? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, he said he forgive all of them. He said he forgive the people that accuse him. He forgive the judges. And he forgave everybody. And see what he's doing, and let me show you, that, and that's powerful what he should do. Because as I help us understand, forgiveness is for you and not the offense. That's right. That's right. What he's saying is, I'm not going to harbor hatred. I'm not going to, you know, uh, allow animosity to reside in me by any of those. But he's not at one bit trying to run back up in somebody's court and let them try him again because he knows they ain't right. But, but, but unless they, you know, because forgiveness, we have to understand. Uh, we have to learn how to release people, but true forgiveness cannot be administered if you don't ask for it. The scripture says in, in St. John 1 and 9, is that one of them? Mm -hmm. If we confess, yes. you can stop right there. Because your what's coming after that predicated on what? The first part did. If you confess. If we confess. No, I sin. Isn't that right? Yeah. I sin. He's faithful, is that what it says? Yeah. He's faithful and just in that right. He said if we confess, if we add, then he will grant it. Don't think God going around the gate uh, Ed sinning. I don't care. I'll forgive you for it. Do it now. I'll forgive you. Do it now. I'll forgive you. No. He's got to confess him. But what we need to learn is I'm not going to hold no animosity against anybody who done me wrong and was wrong. I'm going to move on and love him and move on, treat him now. But I know one thing. I don't keep letting him hurt me, so I'm going 